Hey guys, this is Locke. Today I'm going to go over three arena formations that I found that are quite effective in the top 1000 arena. First of all, I'm going to briefly talk about this formation, which I actually touched on last week. So this is using Kingmont and two double gunners, uh, two lightning double gunners. And I found this to be quite effective against most formations. Um, a lot of people are using water, especially Titus or uh, even Winter Victoria to uh, take out King Mont because he's fire and they're water. So this formation works exceptionally well against, you know, water teams, mainly water-based teams, which is obvious because I'm using two lightning gunners, but it does well against other teams as well, like ice teams, dark teams, a combination of uh, different units. The only team it has trouble with, which I'm actually expecting to see a lot of, maybe in like the top 100 or something, uh, is a team where there is an enemy king want an enemy yuna and some other dps unit of your choice um in that team it struggles because uh king Mont is obviously very tanky so the two gunners they're being at level 99 instead of level 120 because their x is not released they have trouble getting him down and when he, he's finally down he gets re-raised and then he gets um healed and trying to kill him again by that time my team is usually dead especially if the enemy team has a Titus on it. So because uh, their Titus can easily kill my King Mont much faster than my gunners can kill their King Mont uh, while his King Mont is being backed up by Yuna and Heals. So this team works quite well against every other team that I've fought, except for that one team. That team is quite hard, especially if the enemy DPS happens to be Titus, then it's uh, usually a loss. Uh, but it works well against other teams, but because I'm expecting to see that team a lot, especially like in the higher ranks, top 500, top 100, I decided to also test out other team compositions that works well against those teams. So this is my second team that I'm using, and this is actually what I would call a defensive water uh, team based around King Mont. Uh, the reason it's called a defensive team is because the other team I'm going to show you, the third team, is an offensive team, and you can see, kind of see the difference. So the way this team works is, uh, well, let me explain um, some of the choices that I've made here. So I have, uh, sorry, I have Paladin Subjob, I have Saintly Wall turned on. So both my Titus and my Winter Victor will have Saintly Wall and they'll run up. If he has a chance to use this, he will. The, uh, the apron to give him additional defense piercing and uh, AP regen, but usually doesn't have a chance to use it. Usually he only does simply wall and he starts attacking the enemy. Now, um, if you'll notice between the first team where King Mont has this weapon, the Vermilion, and the second team where he actually doesn't even have a weapon, he just has keys of spells. I actually really like this comp because this is really interesting because uh, he has 9,000 HP, um, he doesn't do too much damage, but he does a lot of CC. He mostly gets a chance to use this one, the uh, his LB, which casts the Berserker effect, and it is quite devastating. It uh, it um, you know it, it can easily win games, right? If it if it gets cast on two enemies, um, so uh, that's that's the point of this build here. I am using the uh, like I plan to get him up front and use the LB. Uh, and since he is using keys as spells, he might actually not have a chance to use Proclamation, which increases his hate. So I have to give him the Destiny of Leonis, which increases his hate by five. Uh, that is quite uh, important to use in this build when I'm when he has keys as spells. Um, Winter Victoria, uh, again, she has um, she has Saintly Wall enabled. And because of the, the cards that I have on Winter Victor and Titus, both my water units do a lot of damage. Now, I'm going to be showing you uh, examples of all three builds later on in the video, uh, but I'm going to talk about my offensive build first. Actually, before I do that, uh, let me, there's a slight variation to the defensive build where I actually don't turn on Saintly Wall. I, you know, I turn this off. And if I do this, now he for sure can cast this one, the uh, Inherited Tyranny. And when he does that, he is able to, um, uh, you know, do a lot of damage. He's usually it's for like 9k, 10k on the enemies uh, with this. And if uh, my King Mont is able to cast slash resist down and combos and things like that, he's able to do a lot of damage. The problem with this is that he might get one shot by an enemy uh, Titus or something if, if the positioning isn't right. 
So uh, to prevent that from happening, I've decided to use Saintly Wall all the time in this build, in the defensive build. Now the other variation is an offensive water build, and in that one I have Eldira. And uh, if I'm using Eldira, I use this one because it's much better for her. And here I have her LB turned on. So what happens is, uh, what happens is on the first turn, uh, okay, actually on Titus also, I have Saintly Wall turned off in this build. So what happens here is Titus goes first, he casts his uh, apron buff. Next, Ildira goes and she casts her LB on King Mont. So King Mont easily gets to go up um, and then uh, he usually gets a second turn right away as well. Uh, he either casts his proclamation buff or he attacks the enemy, but he is well ahead of me of my units that uh, I don't have to worry about Titus taking damage because King Mont will always be in range for the enemies to attack. Eldira herself, she also has the uh, her LB's effect, so she can uh, take a second turn and she can move up and be in range to start healing. Um, so the only problem with this is that although it's an offensive uh, kind of team that I call this the offensive team, uh, the only problem with this is that Eldira starts healing King Mont a lot. So I have only Titus to do a lot of damage and sometimes, especially if the enemy has a lot of healers and a King Mont as well, sometimes it's just not enough damage to win the fight. But King Mont usually actually gets his LB off easily in, in this setup. Um, so those are the three formations. I'll show you some examples now. You know, let me know what you think. So this is the formation where I'm using the defensive uh, water team with uh, Winter Victoria. I actually left Saintly Wall turned off for this one, and you can see how close this fight ends up being. So right here, uh, Titus is casting Hastega, so if he's able to survive this, he can do a lot of damage. But you can see right there, if he didn't proc that guard, he might actually have already died. <laughs> so while this is a great uh, offense team, look, look how much damage he does. He one-shots King Mont that at 10k health uh, with a ton of damage. So uh, like you can see how much damage he can do if he remains alive. But the problem is that he might not remain alive, which uh, which is which is a huge problem, obviously, because I don't have a healer, I don't have a re raise or anything. So um, that's why I decided, even though this is a like, a, although he does so much damage with that with the saintly wall off and proccing the apron, it's just too much of a risk to take. But anyway, moving on. So in this team, as you can see, the cards that I just showed you. This two uh, B is actually quite evasive. She has two cards that are supporting her that gives evasion. Um, and I decided to uh, take this team on anyway just to see how much accuracy my Titus have, has. And this also, this formation also nullifies Berserker. So my King uh, Mond actually can't do what I want him to do, which is use that crazy uh, LB of his. And as you can see, he ends up dying to, you know, all these hits. But, uh, my, you know, my, my team is okay. Um, like... I, I don't mind my King Mont dying as long as he gets one of his attacks off. His attack is either to destroy the shield or to have slash resist down. And if he does one of those, I usually win because um, my team can usually one-shot whoever's left over. Um, both my Winter Victoria and Titus has water, water slash attacks and two cards that increase their damage. Now you can see that uh, my Winter Victoria hasn't, doesn't have enough... Uh, uh, accuracy to even attempt to hit 2B, but my Titus does. Uh, but he has to go from the side, so maybe it was like a 50% chance to hit, but if he lands that hit, it's a one-shot. So here you will see it is a offensive formation, and it's so much easier, as you can see, to get off his LB. Um, so everything's the same as before, and my Titus obviously has Saintly Wall off. Uh, now King Mont gets to go right now, and he gets to go again before the enemy really gets to do anything. And he goes right up and he uses his first attack, getting ready to use his LB the next turn. I think if my enemies are too far out of range, like if they're not clumped together like this, he will actually choose to use his uh, slash resist down attack, which is which is probably okay. But you can see they both proc the Berserker. Now, um, I actually end up losing this fight simply because I have... Uh, 
uh, my Ildira healing instead of doing any damage, and that causes my enemy to be able to, you know, last until they break out of the uh, Berserker, and then I lose. So this is why I decided to actually go with the defensive formation that I have instead of the offensive formation. I don't know if these are correct names to be calling them, but that's what I feel like. I feel like this is a lot more offense oriented because I have Ildira use the LB and King Mont rush, rushes in right away. I have Slaying the Wall turned off for King, uh, for uh, Titus. Um, anyway, uh, but I felt like the other one where uh, I'm using Winter Victoria is a better overall choice. And Winter Victor and Titus get to use Saintly Wall, so even if my King Mount goes down, they don't go down right away. Uh, not so many people are using magic uh, teams right now because of the increased magic resistance in Arena. So therefore, I feel like uh, the team that I showed you before is is a better choice. But not everyone has all the units. You might not have Winter Victor, so this might be a formation that you can go with. And you can also tweak, uh, tweak the units to, to maybe ma make it work out better than I'm doing right uh, so anyway this is this is how the three formations go uh, I'm now going to show you some more battles of the um, the double gunner formation and the reason I'm uh, highlighting this more than the other fights is because I don't see too many people doing this I don't see too many people uh, using double gunners so I actually haven't used Mont because I haven't seen anyone using King Mont with two double gunners so by showing you the, these fights, I'm hoping it gives you ideas on how to run uh, this team. Uh, but I'm going to stop talking now, so you guys can take a look, see if if, if this is something that you want to run, uh, if you have the units. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have questions or comments, leave me a comment below. Uh, I hope you have a great day. Take care now.